So if you guys didn't know, the Transform Plus Game Pass has now been released and it is for 600 Robux, which is quite the investment. So in today's video, I'm going to be testing out this new Game Pass to see if it is worth it. Let's get into it. So the Game Pass description is allows using the transform tool on more object types, such as basic shapes and structuals. Also removes and loosens some existing restrictions and limits when transforming. So obviously we are going to be checking out the basic shapes. Also, if you hear any like random sound in the background of the video, it's actually cause it's raining. How exciting. It never rains in California. Okay, so here's a basic shape. We're gonna go to the transform tool, which is also T on a keyboard. Click it and we're gonna see what we can do with this. Oh, wait, oh, whoa, wait, how high can this thing go. This actually reminds me of when the transform tool first came out because I actually brought an item all the way to the top of my build and then later on during the same day I wasn't able to do it anymore. So I think that was supposed to be part of this game pass which means if I'm correct I can do what I wanted to do last time and that was use I think it was the messy long blanket. So you set it on the floor you transform it so I completely flipped it over and then I brought it up. Aha! Nice. Okay, so I did this and then I stretched it and then I tilted it again. Yes, amazing. Okay, so this means that custom water slides are easier now. Way easier. No more pillars, no more basic shapes. You can literally just use the blanket. How cool is that? I mean, you could use basic shapes too. Let's see if you can place other things. Can I move everything on here? I can. Can I twist it? I can. Yeah, so you can still move like a lot of stuff. That's that's really nice actually. Can pillows be moved complete? Oh, so they do have a frame. They can only be moved that far away, which is actually a much bigger difference now. So you can do that. Um, I was also told that you can now flip decals, paintings, pictures. Someone did it and I, I want to figure this out. Okay, so there is a little cube. Look at that. That's amazing. So now instead of doing the whole like through the floor trick, you can just do this. So if I want a picture of llamas, I can can have a picture of a llama on the ground, which is fantastic. This is a huge game changer. Like, I'm quite excited about this. Um, the next thing, it said something about structurals, so we're gonna check out the structurals. Let's see, I think it was this thing. See, here's the thing. With structurals, this doesn't really make sense that you can do this because, except for the flipping upside down, I do understand that part. For the structural, you can just use placement and just stretch it. So that kind of seems inconvenient. Like, it, it just, it doesn't seem like something that really needs to be done, except, oh wow, <laughs> oh my gosh, except when you want to flip it over. Now that makes sense. So I get that part. The other thing that I saw people do was make those window roofs with it. Let's say I have like a house and then I want a window roof. So if you grab your transparent cube, flatten it, shape it to whatever length or thickness you want and then transform it, you can now make roofs. So that's all I'm gonna show because like you, you can get the basic idea from that. But now you can make clear roofs or like a window roof in like a loft or something. So yeah, you can do that now with it. So there's a lot of freedom with this game pass, which I think is really great. You can flip things, you can turn things upside down. This this is a really great game pass. Interesting, so vehicles cannot be flipped. So that was tested by Blocksburg Chronicles. It just stays straight. Here is one way to use it. You can flip things completely upside down. So if you wanna make like an upside down house, you can do that. So here's another example of the custom flooring you can do. You can move planks now, that's awesome. Is it worth it? Here's my answer. It depends on the type of builder you are. If you are a more advanced builder, you like more complicated builds, this is definitely the game pass for you. If you are someone that prefers the more simplistic classic style of Bloxburg, this is unneeded. If you are someone who wants to flex that you have all the game passes, get the game pass. If you are someone who likes custom flooring like this llama right here, it is definitely worth it. I know a lot of people like to use decals in their builds and that is definitely a big game changer if you want some custom flooring or a special carpet. If you want this type of roofing, then yes, get it. So for me, as a more experienced builder, this is definitely something that I am happy with getting. Again, if you're someone who doesn't like complicated builds, if you're brand new to the game, I would spend your Robux on a different game pass like the advanced placement or the multiple floors. Those I definitely would recommend before getting this one. Like I would not make this game pass a main priority, but it is quite the nice game pass. It's just really expensive 
expensive and I feel like it is a little too expensive but you're also given a lot of freedom like look at this you can make things float and twist and it's it's crazy you can you can literally make it look like an explosion now you can have pieces like flying through the air but yeah so that's my answer is it worth it to me yes to others it might not be it's based on opinion but it's also based on how experienced or how detailed you like your builds I am going to be doing a giveaway for this game pass I'm going to make a separate video on that I'm gonna give away four of them to you guys so make sure to look out for that make sure you have joined my roblox group Roblox builds radiance because that's how the robux will be transferred so keep an eye subscribe and turn on notifications for that video let me know if you have any questions about the game pass and i'll be happy to answer you guys but for now i'll see you guys next time